Five months ago, we applied the Gion leather shield on the OEM Tesla white seats. And since then, we put it to the test with mustard, coffee, and even Sharpie. And now, we're back to put it to the test to see how well it held. So before we get started, I want to disclose that this seat has not been wiped clean or anything for the past five months. And I do have experience with the GL Leather Shield on other cars, but this is the first time I've had, I guess, this type of testing on this OEM white seats. So it's going to be interesting. And I wear jeans a lot, and I do live a pretty active lifestyle, so these do get a little bit abused from time to time. So we're going to see how well it held and how easy it is to clean if it is coated. First, I'm going to grab interior cleaner and a board brush and spray interior cleaner on the seat and the brush. The board brush is so that I can easily get in all the crevices and seams to really agitate the dirt and grime and lift it from the seat. And while you're watching this lovely swirl motion, it would be awesome if you could click on that subscribe button. We have videos every week on how to customize, maintain, and protect your Tesla. So now, after I've completely painted the seat in interior cleaner, I'm going to wipe it down. And wow, you can already see the difference. Make sure you're using a clean microfiber and take note on how I'm folding it in fourths and finding a clean side every time I wipe. This way you're not dragging the grime back over it and you get the most out of your microfiber. There's a few areas that are still stained, so I'll go over those one more time in the same way. The brush is nice because it's actual boar's hair and it's super soft. It's not hard bristles and doesn't damage the seat in any way. And done. Let's take a look at what it did look like before and what it looks like now. So you guys saw in the overhead camera uh, the results are awesome. It looks super white again. It's super clean. I did not realize how dirty my seats were, but it has been five months. And um, one thing to note is that some areas, if there's a stain, typically if I really have to, maybe I'll use a polisher or a drill brush, but I try to avoid that. It could get the coating off. And if you have it on for too long, it could possibly even damage it. So that's like my last resort if I really need to. But honestly, the brush and the microfiber is a perfect combo for interior and it's non-damaging and that's, that's what matters. So this Gion Leather Shield is actually supposed to last about 12 months. Uh, typically, personally, from what I've seen uh, in my experience, uh, for the driver's seat, it doesn't quite last as long because it's like massive use. This is the most commonly sat down seat. However, you know, uh, it does last at least six months, right? So. One thing that we did last time is we did a few tests. It was impressive, but in the beginning, I used a piece of tape like this and I put it on and it wouldn't even stick because of the hydrophobic layer. So right now, I'm gonna try to stick it. You can see it definitely sticks, right? So it's nowhere near as sleek. And one thing to note is when I first freshly coated it and the day after and we tested it, you could feel it. It feels a lot more, um, I guess, like slippery. Even when you're sitting on it, you could kind of feel the difference, but it does dissipate. But although it doesn't have that kind of sleek um, texture like it did before, that's okay. I actually prefer not to like slide down my seat all the time. But the real test that I'm interested in is the beating test, right? So I'm gonna put some water on the seats. And you know, if we go flashback to the last video, uh, you can see some really, really clear beating going on. And the, the water was actually transferring down the seats. So, so I'm just gonna spray in a few different areas just to kind of see how it reacts. There's definitely small beatings going on, especially like, let's say you look at the side over here, I kind of slide in and then this is the area that's the most commonly sat on. So you can see like in the middle here, there's not much beating going on at all actually. Very, very, very little. And then back here a little bit, and then up here, there's still a little bit of beating going on. But honestly, what matters more than the beating aspect is the fact that it was really, really easy to clean. Um, I didn't really have to do much. I wasn't actually muscling my way when I was trying to clean the seats. 
and even then it is still pretty smooth and that's really what matters it's not necessarily the beading is more of a test to show that sleekness i will go ahead and do a reapplication just in the bottom right here and then you're good to go for another six to 12 months depending on your usage well hopefully that was helpful and gave you a lot of information about the gel leather shield how it works and if it works after extended usage for me i think it worked really well it did exactly what it was supposed to it made cleaning a lot easier simpler and it still looks really really new and this car is not brand new it is a 2021 june build so it's been around for about a year and a half so i think it looks phenomenal for how, how old this car is um, if you have any questions let us know in the comments below if you have a second i go ahead and check out a durability test where we put mustard sharpie and coffee and a bunch of other stuff on the seat to show you you know if it's actually going to work with the coating and don't forget to subscribe and click on that button because we're going to be doing a lot of weird tests see you later